This box, I think, might be one of the most clever boxes the Wizarding Trunk has put out. Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome to the Potter Collector Channel, where we are a community of collectors. We have the next Wizarding Trunk box, and the theme is shops, or the alley, the shop box. Now this is the Wizarding Trunk's Owlry box, which means it is their bi-monthly box. Their quarterly box, or special edition box, is called the High Security Vault. Let's take a look at this box real quick because look at this incredible artwork. There's like an ad for every shop in the alley. Isn't that amazing? Like, all over the place. All sides. Different potion ads, ads for books, wanted posters. And there's even a spoiler on this box for the third Keep Collecting box. And that theme is all about clubs and after school activities. If you don't know, the Keep Collecting box is a collaboration between myself and the Wizarding Trunk. And this is our third box together. So there's something on here that you will be receiving in that third Keep Collecting box, assuming that you ordered it. It's not too late to order. It ships in a couple of weeks. So make sure you get your order in before the shipping date. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to get your box until all of the boxes have been delivered. So make Make sure if you want to be one of the first to get the Keep Collecting box, put your orders in now before it's too late. But one of the items on this collage of magical things is one of the items you're going to be receiving for one of the clubs or after school activities. I think this is really fun, the Clean Sweep Shop, because I'm wearing my Clean Sweep t-shirt. If you would like to order the Keep Collecting box, check the description down below for a link. Once again, it ships in a couple of weeks, and once it ships, if there are any boxes left, Left, your box won't be sent until after all of the orders that have been placed have been delivered. Very beautiful box. All right, let's open this thing up and see what magical items are inside. Man, I could stare at this all day long. Dun, 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 dun. The, oh my goodness, there are more underneath the flap too. Check that out. That's incredible. They're everywhere. <gasps> oh, look at that magical box full of magic. Uh, what do we want to open up first? I have no idea. How about this? Enchantment bandages, healer approved. Are these real band-aids? So we've got a tin here for band-aids and it looks like one of those vintage band-aid tins. Very cool tin. These bandages are imbued with magical mending properties promoting rapid healing and restoring skin with a touch of enchantment. Healer approved. <laughs> That's really cute. There are, oh my gosh. They're not just like plain old band-aids. They're actually branded enchantment bandages. This gets a holy moly cannoli. You don't get just one pack of five, you get two packs of five and the tin that you can reuse and put other band-aids in or display or whatever. Let's open one of these things up and take a look. I don't know if it's just on the, it's not. It's not just on the packaging itself. The actual Band-Aid is branded. That is so cool. I need to like cut myself just so I can use one of these. This was such a good idea. I love that it says healer approved. If you don't know in the wizarding world, doctors are called healers. So you would get this at the local wizarding shop, Walgreens type store. All right, we have a, is that Gilderoy Lockhart? We've got a portrait pin and I think it might be Gilderoy Lockhart, which will represent Flourish and Blots or the Wizarding Trunks version of a magical bookstore. Here we have Harry's second defense against the dark arts teacher, Mr. Gilderoy Lockhart, Order of Merlin, third class, and honorary member of the Dark Force Defense League. The Wizarding Trunk portrait pins are very, very cool. Fun little fact, the first portrait pin from the Wizarding Trunk was from a Keep Collecting box. It was a Dumbledore portrait, but it was myself in my cosplay as Dumbledore. It was kind of like a bonus item that was included. And the Wizarding Trunk has put out a ton of magical portrait pins that are just awesome. And this is a great one for the lineup. The obnoxious Gilderoy Lockhart. All right, what is this? Ooh, what is this? It's a bag full of stuff. All right, there's a vial of magical rocks that are very sparkly and glittery. There is another vial of red liquid. We have a wax seal stick inside here. So my guess is this is gonna be like a build your own potion, maybe? These are like potion ingredients for a, a DIY potion. What would it be? Oh, 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 brew your own potion kit. Brew it yourself potion kit, death cap draft. 
I said it right, you guys. I actually said it right this time. Draft, I always read as drought. It's just rooted in my head that draft is pronounced as drought. And those of you who leave comments anytime I say it incorrectly are probably so proud of me right now. So leave a comment down below. Let me know how proud you are of me saying a word correctly. Death cap draft. I hope I said it right. Warning, extremely poisonous, keep stopper closed, which is probably what this is for. This box is gorgeoisie. Check this thing out. So I've mentioned this in the past, the Wizarding Trunk boxes of their items. They're art pieces themselves. And essentially it's like you're getting two items in one. You're getting display items with the item itself. So, I mean, in my opinion, I would say don't throw the boxes out because these are great for display purposes. But we have brewing instructions on the back. It says, one, fill bottle to the neck with moon water so clear, a liquid so pure, the stars just might peer. Two, pour in the included ingredients rare, into the bottle with flourish and care. Add the stopper with a plop and a magical twist. Then shake it quite fiercely with a flick of the wrist. Vigorous movements, oh dance if you dare, until the potion's just right, with a sparkle to spare. Number four, seal it then deftly with red wax so bold to ensure that no droplet breaks free from the fold. Okay, that is fun. Not only is it fun because it's like, it, it feels like a spell that you would be reading from a spell book, but those are actually the instructions. So like you can follow the instructions as written to create your potion, which feels like it's just taken from a spell book. All right, let's open this thing up. The box is like really well made. It's really thick cardboard. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. Okay, so <gasps> it's huge. Holy moly cannoli, it's huge. I'm getting really excited. So, all right, here we have the stopper. We've got the, the twister. Oh, this is the, the label. Okay, so the wizarding trunk has done kind of the first step, they've wrapped the neck of the bottle with twine and added that charm. But look at this gorgeous bottle, it's huge. And then to add one more thing, we have this beautiful label, the death cap draft that you put on once you are done. Let's make this thing right now. All right, so we've got our cork, we've got our cap, we have our ingredients and our wax seal. I've got some water right here. So step one, fill a bottle to the neck with moon water so clear, a liquid so pure the stars just might peer. This is moon water, by the way. I harvested this from the moon last night, the full moon. Was there a full moon? I don't know. Well, that's how much I have. So then the next step is pour in the included ingredients rare into the bottle with flourish and care. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. I love these DIY potions. Love, love, love these DIY. Wait a second. <gasps> it's magic. Do you see what just happened? I just noticed what happened. It was red and now it's like sparkly red. Okay, so now we're going to add the stopper with a plop and a magical twist and then shake it quite fiercely with a flick of the wrist. Just flick that wrist quite fiercely. Vigorous movements, oh dance if you dare, until the potion's just right with a sparkle to spare. Seal it then deftly with red wax so bold to ensure that no droplets break free from the fold. Couple drops on the bottle itself to make it look extra spooky. But there's one last step and that's the label. And we've just created our own death cap drought. Draft. Durr. Draft. Love this concept of do-it-yourself potions. I think the Wizarding Trunk was the first to do this. Their stuff is just incredible. All right, I mean, that in itself was an amazing box. Let's see what else we can pull out of here. We've got this white box here, solid white box. Might be like a water bottle. It is a water bottle. It is a metal. Water bottle, Herbology Supplies. There's this really fun artwork of the Herbology Supply shop itself. And we see dirigible plum trees and other magical items in the shop window and just surrounding this magical shop. It is a stainless steel twist top bottle and it has like that, that soft coating finish on it. So it's comfortable to hold. Great item, beautiful design, a practical item as well. Very fun. We have, is this another book cover? We have another book cover? I thought we were done with book covers, but this might be the last one. Let's see, there's a number on the spine itself that tells us 
This is, this is the last book cover in the series and it's called Secret Passages and Magical Tunnels. That's cute, this is very cute. Oh, are these all words? So there's like little paths with feet showing like magical tunnels and stuff, but the paths are made up of words. It's really hard to read because it's in gold foiling. Really impressive. They're just these pathways of words. All those little squiggles are words. And then we've got the feet on top of those pathways and tunnels. Let's get it on a book. So these book covers fit the UK editions of the books. And what's nice about the Bloomsbury hardcover editions is most of them for the most part are all the same size. So no matter what edition you have, if you have the adult edition, the originals, the house editions, the 15th anniversary editions, they all are almost the same size. So these book covers will fit pretty much any UK edition that you might have. Oh, well, there's something sad about getting the last book cover. It's been a fun ride of just magical book covers. I'm excited to see what the Wizarding Trunk does next, but there's a little sadness there. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm lining the spine up with the jacket itself and the book like so. And then once it's lined up, that's when I'm gonna make my creases on the flaps themselves. And you've just turned your Harry Potter book into a magical textbook or just magical book from the wizarding world. In this case, The Secret Passages and Magical Tunnels by, who's this by? This is by Locke. Very, very cool. I like the simplicity of this cover too. And of course the gold foiling is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. All right, we've got a key, a magical key. The Wizarding Trunks unlocking magic, magical key line. Oh. Whoa, that is a psychedelic key. So this is for the Wizarding Trunks magical shop that they made up, their magical joke shop, Wittershins, which is kind of a play off of Weasley's. And this key is awesome. This looks like the key of a magical joke shop. Look at the magic of this key and all those colors, metallic all around. And then we have this charm that has sparkle in it and the W, which stands for Wittershins. What's nice is the key ring itself matches the rest of the key. I I love when that detail is not overlooked. You know, sometimes we see a black key with a silver ring when the ring should be black to match the rest of the key and the wizarding trunk did not overlook that and they've matched the key to the key ring itself. What other details on here? So we've got a W for the key teeth. Looks like some ears, like extendable ears are on here. Some other joke items, lightning bolt, a finger that's pointing down to a star. Just so much fun detail on this thing. Love it. Next up is Unforgivable Ink. Oh my goodness, is this like, um, are these tattoos? Where shadows are conjured and ink is unleashed. 15, Nightshade Alley, inking nightly from Twilight's embrace until dawn's awakening. I think this is going to be like a set of tattoos. There are three tattoos inside here. So we have a flying key in color, almost like a watercolor tattoo. That's awesome. Here we have some runes, which kind of mimic the runes that we see on Sirius Black. We've seen this before from the Wizarding Trunk, the skull with mushrooms growing out of it. So those are three of the tattoos you can find from Unforgivable Ink. This box, I think, might be one of the most clever boxes the Wizarding Trunk has put out when it comes to items and might very well be my favorite so far and we're not even done with the box. These Band-Aids, I know, it's like they're Band-Aids, but this is so amazing and clever. The packaging, the branding, the unforgivable ink tattoos, the do-it-yourself potion. Guys, we're not even done yet. We got a water bottle, a stainless steel water bottle, an awesome pin, an amazing key, and a box still full of things. How can this not be my favorite box? How can this not be anyone's favorite box? This is crazy. All right, there's a big box here. Let's open this up next. So there is a hog on here. Is this supposed to represent like the hog's head or some sort of like hog's head bar or something? I like this trunk, this crate. It's something that's fragile. <gasps> what the heck? There's a, wait a second. No, 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 no. Has the wizarding trunk created a mini version of the hog head pitcher that we see inside of the Great Hall. Oh, if this wasn't my favorite box before, it is absolutely now. Oh, it's white. Oh, it's a cream, it's, it's for cream. Oh my 
goodness. Or you could do like a single serving of tea. Look at this. It's a ceramic hoghead cream pitcher. And then there's this gold finish on top that is just incredible. It's already the best box and there's still some more items in here. This is fantastic. I want a big teapot version of this. Like you need the teapot, the, the creamer, the, the sugar. There's gotta be a whole set. Wizarding trunk, you need to make a whole set of this with like even like hoghead spoons or something. Everyone leave a comment down below if you think that this should be a thing. Full size teapot. We need a sugar container, maybe some spoons. Please let this be a thing. I, I don't have I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> it's not very often that I'm just like completely speechless. And a lot of these things are leaving me completely speechless. All right, let's keep going with the box. There is a little pouch here and it says Glintworth Bank. Oh, it's a bank. So this is the Wizarding Trunks Magical Alley Bank. And there's a little goblin on there, Glintworth Bank. I think there are coins in here, which means there's probably wizard money. There is wizard money. Oh, it's a vault, Glintworth Bank vault door, a three-headed dog or Cerberus, 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 a dragon and a hippogriff. Is that a hip? No, that's a griffin. I think that might be a griffin. Like those are three protectors, protector animals. So the higher the value of the money or the currency, the, the greater the protection that you receive. That is clever. That's really, really cool. So we have on kind of the galleon equivalent, a dragon, and then that vault door that says Glintworth Bank. The silver coin that would kind of represent a sickle has a three-headed dog on it. And then the nut or the canut or a nut, everyone kind of pronounces it differently. We have a griffin protecting the vault door. It looks like the dragon is sitting on top of a pile of gold. Actually, they're all kind of sitting on a pile of coins, except for the griffin, which is taking flight to protect from above. There have been wizarding trunk boxes in the past where it's like it just keeps getting better and better and better. This just keeps getting better and better and better. But I think this one tops whatever that previous one was. Look at that. Look at that awesome set of wizard gold and silver and bronze. And then we have print. Let's save this for last and open up the prints. There's also, oh my gosh, look at this. This is huge. Oh my gosh, wow. <gasps> this is the spoiler sheet, but look at this. Look at what's on the back of the spoiler sheet. It's a map of the alley, the magical alley. Um, all right, I gotta look at this. So Glintworth Bank is there, Lauren Latch Bookshop, Clean Sweeps Broom Shop, right here. Bailiwick's Magical Sweets, Violent Cantum, Fiddle Sprigs Magical Herbs, the Owlery, Wittershins Joke Shop, Gallopot's Magical Remedies, Pure Blood Apothecary, Unforgivable Ink, Disappearing Tattoos, and the Copper Kettle Inn and Pub. This is very, very fun, but we're gonna put this aside for now. Not look at the cheat sheet, and we're gonna look at the other items that are in here. What is this? This is like a little cutout from a newspaper or something. Uh, 13 Wittershins Shop Key. Congratulations on your new job at the Wittershins Joke Shop. As their newest employee, this key gives you access to be able to open open and close up shop. This key was designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. Oh, I think that maybe they had forgotten to include the key on the cheat sheet, so they just included this little cutout. This is, okay, this is gonna be the, what was this called? The, the Owlery? Oh, it's just called the Owlery. So here we have a picture of the Owlery in the, oh, it's a postcard. Look at that, so here is that postcard artwork of the Allery, and then I turned it around and saw that. Holy moly cannoli this box. Holy moly cannoli this box. You know I'm serious when I say that. So postcard, uh, it was dated 25th December of 2000. So that was beyond the Hogwarts years. There might be some significance, but Christmas of 2000 was when this was sent. Very, very cool. Love the artwork of that. Love the, the back postcard artwork. We have another Magical Creatures A to Z page, and we have a Rogaru. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, and the Red Cap. So I will put these pages up here for you to pause and read if you would like to. These are fun little page cutouts because the Wizarding Trunk writes everything. It's not just a bunch of scribbles as they could easily do. Just like, oh, throw a bunch of scribbles on here here, make it look cool. There's actually something that you can read. And then last but not least, we have preparation for death cap draft. And oh, this is like a whole recipe thing. Oh, maybe this was the instructions. These were the instructions. Oh, we should have read these instead. I mean, we'll still read them, but we should have read these instead while we were making the death cap draft, draft, drought, draft, draft. So the ingredients are moon water, red bane berry juice, crystallized death cap. So those are the three ingredients that we added. Again, as I mentioned, I got that moon water yesterday. Like it's amazing. I didn't even know that this, this box was coming and I already 
harvested moon water. Utensils and instructions, glass potion bottle with a narrow neck, a small silver ladle, a cork or stopper for sealing the bottle, wax for sealing the bottle. Instructions, prepare your workspace in a well-lit, quiet area, ensuring you have all the necessary utensils and instruments at hand. Take a glass potion bottle with a narrow neck and place it on a clean, flat surface. This will be the vessel for your death cap draft. First, add moon water to the bottle, pouring it carefully to fill just below the neck of the container. Moon water should be handled with great care, for its purity is crucial to the potion's success. Next, introduce the red baneberry juice into the mixture. This juice will infuse the potion with its characteristic crimson hue, signifying its potency. Slowly pour it into the bottle, allowing the liquid to blend gently with the moon water. Now for the final and most crucial step. Add the crystallized death cap. Handle this ingredient with extreme caution as its powder is both potent and perilous. Pour the crystallized death cap into the bottle, watching as it begins to dissolve slowly. Number six, seal the bottle tightly with a cork or stopper to contain the poison within. The crystallized death cap will gradually dissolve over time, infusing the potion with its toxic qualities. It is essential to store the death cap draft in a cool, dark place away from direct sunlight or prying eyes. Number seven, allow the potion to mature and gain strength as the crystallized death cap dissolves, infusing its dark magic into the brew. This process will take several days so be patient. And number eight, once the death cap draft has reached its full potency, it is ready to be used. Handle it with great care, as its effects are both powerful and deadly. Warning, only for use by Potion Masters, death cap draft is exceptionally potent. Its effects are perilous, and death is mostly irreversible. It's just so fun. It's so fun and interactive. And oh look, oh my gosh, it's dissolved. It's like, it's dissolving. Just like it said. That is darn cool. Feels like I'm a potion master. I just created death cap draft. All right, we have one last item, the vial incantum, poisons and cursed curiosities in Nightshade Alley. And we have some styrofoam inside, which means it is a, what is this? Oh, is this one of those things? I don't know what this is called, but I think it's one of those things where you like move it around and it like picks out letters for, from a, like a Ouija board or something. So this is very, very scary and dangerous. So don't let this fall into the wrong hands. Really cool carving design, very just spooky and evil looking. I love the finish on this, this kind of brown, dirty finish. It looks like it's made out of stone, like a heavy stone. It's made out of, of resin, but it looks like a heavy stone that it was carved out of and just aged and used over time. Love that it matches the box too. Again, you've got an amazing box to display and then the item itself. So it's really like you get two items in one. So I don't know what shop should we go to guys? Da -na 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 -na. <gasps> of course, Bailiwicks. We gotta go to Bailiwicks. That's where the sweets are. And it's branded to the Vial Incantum. There it is. That's the shop box, which is like shop box amazing. This is a huge spoiler sheet, like Gigantosaurus. There's a lot of words on here. I think this might be the most words that we've ever seen on a Wizarding Trunk spoiler sheet. So I'm gonna read the different items and then if you would like to read the descriptions, you can pause the video and read those. So number one is the Glintworth Bank Coins. Oh, and this says, you will notice a magical creature on each coin. These creatures were chosen for they guard the vaults on the different levels of Glintworth Bank. Very, very clever. Number two, unforgivable ink temporary tattoos. The Herbology Supplies Water Bottle. Vile Incantum's Enchanted Planchette. A planchette, maybe? Is that how you pronounce it? Planchette? Autographed Portrait Pin. Number six, Secret Passages and Magical Tunnels. Number seven, Enchant Mend Bandage Tin from Galapoth's Apothecary. Number eight, The Creature's Page. Number nine, Boar's Head Cream Pourer. It is a cream pourer. Ah, oh, so much fun. Okay, it says every table at the Copper Kettle Inn and Pub is adorned with a dining set, and at the center of that set is this ceramic Boar's Head Cream Pourer. This item will be the first in a set to be included exclusively in our bi-monthly boxes. <gasps> it's a set. They're doing a set. They're doing a set. Of course they're doing a set. It's the wizarding trunk. Okay, so if you want to get in on this set, make sure you're subscribed to the bi-monthly boxes. That is awesome. Oh man, I can't wait to see the others.
10, brew it yourself potions kit. Number 11, the owl repost card. And number 12, death cap draft potion recipe. And the editor's choice of this box is practically Nikki in every way. Congratulations, Nikki, on being featured here. And you can find Nikki on YouTube at practically Nikki in every way. And the next bi monthly theme is going to be all about the potions master. What a box. What a box. Okay, favorites and least favorites, I don't know. Maybe the water bottle, just cause like I wouldn't use something like this, but this is a great water bottle. So favorites, I love these band-aids. Like I just love the band-aids. I think they're so fun. The DIY potion was incredible, fun to do. The recipe card is just a blast as well to go with it. I think that this is the top box. In my opinion, this is the Wizarding Trunks best box to date. Well done to everybody who was part of curating this thing. Let me know what you guys think about this box. Are you as enthusiastic and freaking out as much as I am? Were you like, eh, about this box? I don't see how you could have been eh about this box because this was packed with pure magic. This I'm so excited about. I can't wait for this set. This is going right with my Harry Potter Hogwarts themed china and dinnerware. It's so fun. Now I've got something to serve dessert coffee with. Okay, um... So is this your favorite box from the Wizarding Trunk? Was a previous box your favorite from the Wizarding Trunk? Let me know as well as the Potter Collector community in a comment down below. If you would like to subscribe to the Wizarding Trunk, check the description down below for a link as well as a coupon code to save you some money. And again, the Keep Collecting Box 3 is on its way very, very soon. If you want to be one of the first to receive that box, make sure you put in your order before they ship. Check the description down below for a link to that as well. And also, let me know what little square on here you think is the item you're gonna be receiving in that box. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram, at the Potter Collector, on Twitter, now known as X, at Potter Collector, or on Discord. The official Potter Collector Discord is linked down below. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome. We cover all things Harry Potter on the Potter Collector channel, like books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?